You know, Paul, I'm really inspired with seeing Clark out there. Yeah. We're going to be taking flight this morning and getting a taste of classic dishes in a unique spot that's reimagining the way that you brunch. Do you brunch, Paul? Yeah, it, this is your captain oh. speaking. We will not be traveling at 30,000 feet. We'll be actually on the ground. And yes, I do, Roma. All right. Anyway, Clark, I'm sure the food that you're making is ablazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, Paul, I feel like if you need another job on the side, an air traffic controller is in your future because that was really cool. But I'm hanging out at a really unique cafe that's bringing up some comfort food for people at the airport and outside of it. Uh, thank you so much for having us here. What are we making today? We're making the Abbey Burger, which okay. uh, my daughter came up with uh, close to about seven years ago when she was working with my brother in a separate restaurant. And what's really unique about the Abbey Burger is the creation itself uh, came out of what was left over from a charcuterie board and my daughter thought hey this is a great pairing of stuff let me give it a try what a cool concept I've never heard of that before and so we have the grill going in the back there's already a burger ready but uh, what do we do to season the burger okay so we just season the burger with uh, salt and pepper okay and so you're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on the burger Nice. And you're going to put it about in the middle of the grill there. Okay, dropping it right in the center where the heat is. There you go. And you're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on the top. All right. Now this these, is a nice mixture. These burgers are, are cut from brisket. There's not, no other fillers in them. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's just brisket. Oh, that looks awesome. So that is cooking away. We already have one done and ready to go, though. So this looks good. What's the next step? Oh, so, so the next step is we want to put the, the burger Okay. We want to put some truffle cheese on the burger. All right, tell me about the truffle cheese because this is so unique. There's truffle cheese and then there's wine in it. That's your pretty board inspiration. How did that come to be? Once again, it was just leftovers from, from the kitchen <laughs> over, uh, over at Weathered Souls. And so the, the uh, red wine reduction was part of a separate meal. Uh -huh. And the, the uh, truffle cheese was used as part of the charcuterie board. Yes, oh, that's amazing. I really like that. So let's bring the patty over to this plate. And of course, obviously this is way more than a cafe. We oh, obviously yes. just had planes behind us. Yes, but tell me about the concept and the people that it serves. Okay, so we are community focused. And so uh, when we saw this uh, this empty space at Stenson vacant mm -hmm. from, the, from the previous uh, vendor here, we saw it as an opportunity for workforce development for some of the young youth that were part of the youth enrichment programs here and also part of the community mm -hmm. that, that may have an interest in aviation but don't know where to start and they have skills gaps. Wow. And we thought, here's a great place where we can create entry level jobs with a livable wage connect with San Antonio Ready to Work and also offer skills that are universal regardless of whether or not they're in food service mm -hmm. or they have a passion for something else. And if they have an interest in aviation, we can connect them to those resources as well. How cool is that? Just an opportunity that I feel like you couldn't get any other way. It's so unique. Okay, I see the red wine reduction over here. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me the secret to this? A lot, a lot of preparation, a lot of hours. <laughs> and so that is red wine that gets boiled down. It takes approximately four hours to get it down to that point. Okay. Um, and so over time, we let it sit so it's, it's, it's reduced. It sits, it cools off, and then, and then we make it available in the, in the bottle. That's we put it so together. That's awesome. Okay, let's put it together. Excellent. And so the first thing you want to start off with is you want to put the patty on the bottom of the bun. You gotta do the bottom bun and they're nice and toasty this morning. They are. And so all all our buns are, are baked fresh in house. Okay. So none of this Very is sourced good. outside. This is everything is made here. Yes. And so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna put the onions all right, on so top. We have the caramelized onions. Oh man, that looks so good. The bacon. Got a layer on the bacon, extra love here. And it's nice and crispy. All right. All right. And so now the next thing you can do is you're going to take a little bit of arugula. Mm -hmm. It's a very unique flavor here, something other than lettuce. And so you're going to go ahead and place that on top. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more, he says. I got it. I got it. There we go. Okay. And now you're, what you're going to do is you're going to drizzle the red wine over it. Very nice. The red nice. wine reduction. Yes, oh just like that. 
just like that. That's beautiful. That looks fantastic. What has the response been so far from, from the com people? Oh, they love this burger. This was the number one hit for the first three days. It outsold every other product we had. Mm -hmm. And f as far as the community space, it's been it's been a, it's just been a show of love is really what it has been. Oh, that's and so awesome. we've had pilots fly in from Houston, um, from Austin. We've had the community here come in late at night and, and they, they thank us that we actually have a place that's like this, a scratch kitchen that's open and available all the way till 1030 at night. It's the hours that really matter. Yes. Pardon me for talking with my mouth full. Um, really quick though, I want to make the French fries. Yes. I mean, it's so cool. We have fries right here, but you actually have a machine. We do. Where you take the potato and you drop it in. You showed me how to do it earlier, so for the sake of time, I'm going to drop it. But this is so cool. These are hand-cut fries. If people want more information on your cafe, they want to visit, how can they get in touch? www.trailblazercafe.biz Roma, Paul, how cool is this? Clearly the food is made with so much love and it's fresh. Oh man, and the airplanes and everything too. What do you guys think? I love it, I think it's great. Burgers and fries, right? you can't go wrong, especially when you're going on it's, a flight or you're coming back, you're starving. It's, it's perfect. always a hit. And Roma, we're traveling about 30,000 feet and I think I'm gonna turn the engines on now. Oh, okay, uh, the engines on because you're gonna take flight to the weather, <laughs> to the clouds? Right. If you're already at 30,000 feet, it's a little late. I right? know, right? You're, okay, all right, you made a point. Right there.